So hi, I want to teach you just um, one feature in Grid 3 Super Core, and that would be the thumbtack or the Stay Here feature. Probably one of my favorite features about this software, and you are looking at Super Core 50 with, my, with a lot of adaptations. So we've got um, adaptations, there's the core, there we go, there's our core words and our um, home page. So um, I've rearranged some of these. I have definitely added a dark background because it's just a little too washed out for anybody to be looking at all day. And also for my CBI kids, it would be next to impossible. This is Supercore 50. Um, there's also a Supercore 30. I'm going to show you 50 real fast. Um, if you're interested in um, some of the other adaptions, maybe I'll do later videos. We're just trying to keep these to really short and snappy. So when kids are first learning language, the modeling, as we all know, is important all the way through. But certainly modeling is important at the beginning. And a lot of the systems do a lot of snapping back right away. Um, and, and that's good because it's less navigation for our kids. But when it comes to modeling, not so good. So I go into actions. And I really want them to concentrate on the actions because they're a new user. This is the first time we're kind of exploring the fringe words because usually when I start, I just want to concentrate on these core words and then the first ones that come up here. So maybe I'm going to talk about, um, you know, position because we're reading a book about things going on and off and in and out. And so I might click this stay here button so that when I'm using on I and off, just click it again. Sometimes it doesn't like it the first time I click it. On I and off. off. There we go. It was toggled the other way. It's a toggle. So sometimes you already have it the way it's already clicked on and you've just forgotten it from when you used it before. Um, so that way these stay open at the same time as I'm using the core words. So it might be that we're talking about, you know, we're going to put, put it, it here, here or we're going to put, put it in sorry, in. or we're going to get, get. it out, out, right? Here's next. Next. Next, we're going to go, go and see, see grandma. So we've got lots of flexibility because we've got that stay here button. Now, I'm going to undo the stay here button. And now when I say over, over it goes back to where it was. I use it a lot with chat because I really want my kids to get a handle on their greetings but sometimes they might miss and say bye, bye. when they mean, there again, I have to toggle it on. There we go. Toggle it on. So they might want to say hi, hi instead of bye. bye. And those are kind of close together. But I want, might want to model and say, you know, hey, hey, hey hi. hi. And I might, they might do something funny uh -huh. and I would like them to stay there. I said to somebody the other day, you know, I'm so sorry, sorry. that I didn't say hi, hi first. I just started working with you. So again, giving them the opportunity to stay put can be helpful. So now let's think about the first time we look at describing. Think about this. Look at all these words. They're lovely. But I'd like to stay here because we're going to explore and say, you know, it's really, really Quiet, quiet in this room or they might tell me this is really, really difficult difficult or i might say you know i think that you're you. very very smart smart so now it's a little bit easier for them to play around with these words and i will tell you that this has really been helping my kids that have any kind of visual processing problem where they need to see the model a number of times and or it helps those kids that are, you know, our little um, wiggly ADD, don't kind of look at their devices so much kind of kids. Those kids, I might be modeling favorite, favorite, and that's when their head turns away. They have an apraxic moment or they see something interesting on the ceiling that they just have to look at. Now my modeling has gone to waste, but if the page stays there, when they come back, I can say, oh, you heard favorite, now look. Favorite. Favorite. There you go. And if you're curious about all that highlighting, I can do it in another lesson. Goodbye.